So it was awesome before it was made. Mm. The action of the gun was it was designed from a gun what the Germans had. Okay. They didn't some step it up a, a notch or two. Mm -hmm. So we put it made it mobile. The one they had it was rail. Okay. They took this one and made it mobile. Mm -hmm. So you can move it up down highways. Okay. It was it was doomed from the start. Mm. So it was estimate from Russia down to uh, central Germany, it took 12 minutes to get that uh, jet or a missile. And you see, we didn't win it. So it was, it was just a fantasy we were doing over okay, there. Okay, okay. And so then you say you spent two and a half years I over there. I spent two and a half years. We spent two and a half years doing that. Okay. But actually, we were training. The Honest John was, the, uh, it was similar and shoot, find the thing. It was a missile. Mm -hmm. We could get off of that and go right to it because it was similar to that. Okay. And a similar way you fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know, like uh, you see surveyors out here surveying the highways and mm -hmm. things. That's the same way you lay a gun, they call it. Okay. So the gun, if you have your gun sitting right out there, mm -hmm. it ain't nowhere in the world until you lay it. Okay. <laughs> you don't even know where it is. Mm -hmm. You say, yeah, it is, no, mm -hmm. it's not there. Mm -hmm. You got to put it on the map. Okay. So that is, is, that's the way things are. Mm -hmm. Then it is, it's still there. Okay. You can have a, you can have a missile sitting out there. That ain't no good if it's not on the map. You can't put it on the map. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nowadays you have a, uh, GPS. Mm -hmm. And so you, when you um, came out of the service in Germany, did you come out there and then came back here, or what? I came. I came back. We came back over. On, I went over on a troop carrier called mm -hmm. uh, SS Rounder. It was a troop ship, a little mm -hmm. narrow ship, mm -hmm. it's about 200 foot long and about 50 foot wide, I guess. Okay. And it was. Well, no more than fishing boats. <laughs> that's uh -huh. what they are now. But anyway, that was a horrible experience for me. I was seasick from the yeah, time. Yeah, that's I... a pretty small ship. That's a long ways. Yeah. yeah, we stayed on the water 12, 12 days and 14 nights. Yeah. And up and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. I was sick from the time we lost sight of land from the time we mm -hmm. landed. Mm -hmm. When they said that was France, that France over there, that went my stomach sucked. <laughs> Past the White Clips of Dover. Okay. Did you get to visit any of those places too? Uh -huh. I went to uh, uh, the Netherlands. Okay. Went to France. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, Britain. Okay. England. Mm -hmm. Okay. I went to some places. Some places we couldn't go to because we was in that outfit. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Classification. Okay. And then you came back to Athens. I left there in, um, I think, with the first, the last part of '57. I came back over here. And um, we came back on another ship, uh, the Upshaw. Upshaw. The same thing over again, started all over again. Mm -hmm. The first time I came, I went over, I got sick, went back down the steps, got vomit on me, mm. all down the top of my head, all over me. Mm. Well, I'm telling you, it, I got sick from being on it. My stomach didn't start messing up until I looked over to the side there and they had a big 55 gallon drum full of vomit. Mm. <laughs> 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 And I got sick of dog then. I stayed sick, 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 okay. sick, sick, sick. Okay. So where did the ship come to? It came to um, Pier Number 18 mm -hmm. at the Navy Navy Yard in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah. New York. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pier 18. All right. And it land now. Did you spend any time in New York? Overnight, huh? I stayed in New York for, 
I think it was eight or nine months. You did? Okay. I went back up there and mm -hmm. stayed in New Jersey about a year. Okay. And so I got yeah, we were making good money up there, but take all the to live on. To live. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What that, kind of work were you doing up there? Well, the, I worked on a in in New Jersey. I worked on a, a truck farm. Mm -hmm. I drove a truck over there for the man. He had a he had a uh, what they call a truck farm. Mm -hmm. What he did, he rented everybody backyard. In, in the neighborhood, just like you, right now, he okay. went to everybody's backyard, uh -huh. and, and he had a farm right there in the, in the suburbs. Okay, I about that. And he had guys, uh, people out there picking stuff for him. They, mm -hmm. he had, he didn't, we didn't know, uh, I didn't have nothing to do with it, but mm -hmm. he didn't, he didn't have nothing to do with planning it, gathering it, mm -hmm. but nothing. All he did was they just put it on a truck. And he worked at Pittsburgh Paint Company okay. factory. Okay. In the morning time, he drive a truck up to the farm market and leave it. Mm -hmm. They unload it, put the crates back on there, mm -hmm. and he bring it and start it over the next okay. day. Okay. Take another load. Okay. So, actually, he wasn't farming. We were just he had people there. It was somebody would do it. For okay. Him. Okay. So you did that. Yeah, I did that, and I worked at the cemetery. Okay. What you do at the cemetery? Just uh, and you know how. I remember cutting grass with a big okay. tractor, but I don't remember. I'm okay. doing nothing over there. Okay. I think I was just there. Okay. <laughs> and they went on a strike. I remember they shot out uh, somebody across the river. Mm -hmm. They shot, and the bullet hit the tractor tire. Mm -hmm. That's the end of that. That end that job. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah, that's the end of that occupation okay. right there. <laughs> so I left that one, and uh, it was getting to be winter time then, and uh, up there it was September. So I came back to Athens. Okay, okay. What was Athens like then? It didn't change that much in the two or three years you was gone. In but the what, 50s, so what was e it? yeah, in the 50s, mm -hmm. everything changed. It changed in the 50s? In the 50s, everything changed. Tell me Cars, what you mean. okay. Everything. Uh -huh. Like when I came back from Germany, it was 59, 58. Okay. Women were wearing miniskirts. Mm -hmm. I got out of service. I didn't go to bed in two weeks. <laughs> I almost killed me. So you were just busy. Man, women had no miniskirts. I couldn't <laughs> take that. I, I stayed up all night, all day, <laughs> drinking and running yourself. My mom said, "You will kill yourself. You will go to bed." I said, "I wish I sleep." She said, "You won't sleep here." He was just running the roads, uh, running the streets, as they said. Having a good time. Uh -huh. <laughs> so where were you going? Were there like clubs or clubs something? Clubs everywhere. I was just following the women. Where were some of the clubs they at? They were back in the back in the old days. Uh-huh. It was the hippies and things. You, you, okay. you remember uh, that? The, the flower tune? Right, yeah. So you That man, was early sixties. You you walked down the street, somebody said, We had a party, you join that group and go okay. with them. They'd okay. be a group of people, they'd be walking. Uh -huh. They leave there. I didn't smoke no grass. Now. Okay, okay. You might think it. You might think I'm lying. I, I believe you. I like to drink liquor. Okay. And beer. Uh huh. But those guys, they be smoking grass. You get in that. You get in that uh, place where we be. Uh huh. It be so much smoke in now. They have that stuff on the table and uh -huh. bowls. Mm. They be smoking it and then drinking. So it was party time. You, you didn't have to buy nothing. Uh -huh. I don't know where they get all that stuff from. <laughs> Whiskey and stuff. Okay. So I just followed the group. You uh -huh. could stay up all night if uh -huh. you want. So did you have a job? At that time, I didn't. Okay. It was two, I stayed up those two weeks that I had just got out of service. They gave me, um, um, what you call the pay you get when you ain't working? They gave you some money. They gave me money okay. every, 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 week, every month, I think. Okay. When okay. I'm not working. Okay. That, that was due to me. Uh-huh. So I got tired of that and I went to New Jersey. Okay, so you left Athens, yeah, went I back left. up north. Yeah, I went back up there. Uh huh. And so I got back home. They said you have to, you got some money on. I went in there and looked. I had about five checks I had gotten from there. Before you was gone. From my uh, military mm -hmm. uh, pay, what you when you're not working, whatever you call it. I okay. Forget. Okay. I some know. type of unemployment. I guess. Yeah, unemployment. Okay. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, I had some unemployment checks. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, I cashed over when I got back, and mm -hmm. so I got a job. I forgot where I got that job, what kind of job it was. But I was supposed to go back, mm -hmm. but I never did go back. Okay. But anyway, Tell me, how did you get into your art? You well known. Well, my mother, I had stayed with my mother. I had a lawnmower shop here. I, went, I did lawnmower for years here. Mm, okay. And, um, and uh, she had Alzheimer's, mm. and somebody had to stay with her. Okay. So I go out, I, didn't, I, didn't, I quit my job over at the, uh, I worked at the uh, Big G apartment store up there. I was receiver, and I was in receiving up there. Mm, okay. And uh, I quit that job, and I came home and stayed with her and do lawnmower. Mm -hmm. So I may put a good bacon working on the lawnmower. I was going to have some grass, I would cut some people, I'd go out and cut grass. Okay. And uh, I made pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I made a lot of money, to tell you the truth, about making working on lawnmowers. Mm. <laughs> I never know you can make that much money. By working a, on it. I made a lot of money. Doing okay. That. Okay. But anyway, um, I did that for from uh, for a while now, fifteen, not uh, twelve, fifteen years. Okay. I think. Okay. And uh, I quit doing that in '95, and uh, I started. Uh, I had made some sculptures. Mm -hmm. I had a bunch of them out here, and uh, this a man came from Atlanta. He stopped at my and knocked that moan at the door, mm -hmm. and uh, he said, "Do you want to sell those sculptures you have in front of yard?" I said, "What sculpture?" <laughs> yeah. Come in here, I will show you what I want. It was cold that morning. Like, Let me put on some pants. I okay. Like, I went I came out to see what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. And he said, he had picked out, he's picking, I'm going to pick out some of them here. Mm -hmm. He picked them out. He picked out three of them. Okay. Three. Mm -hmm. And he said,